For our weaving, this piece of cardboard is going to be referred to as our loom. So you are going to take a string and you're going to double knot it so that the knot is kind of thick. And then we will wedge that into one of those slots. So now that that's stuck in there, you're going to take your string down and go around the loop and then up and around the loop. And notice how I didn't wind it around the back side of my loom. That is not what you want to do or you won't be able to take this weaving off when you are finished. So when you get to the end, you're going to make a double knot again. Try to get it as close to the cardboard as you can. I actually think this knot is a little easier than the first knot. So then you can take a piece of masking tape to kind of hold those in place and keep them out of your way. We don't want to cut them, we want to keep them there, but then you'll write your name on the masking tape. So now we are ready to start weaving. So I picked turquoise for mine and I'm choosing to use the needle. If you don't want to use the needle, you don't have to. It does make it easier, but some people prefer not to do it. So notice how I've got this tail hanging off of there. You do not need to knot it onto your needle. You just need to leave a couple inches at the end. So I am starting under and I'm going over, under, over, under, over, under. And then I'm going to pull that all the way through and you'll see why here in just a second once I get it all the way pulled through. Your, your string will be just as long to start, um, but obviously it'll keep getting shorter as you go. So now I stopped under, so I want to start over. So you want to do the opposite of what you just did so that it'll stay in place and pull it all the way through. And you will keep doing that until you are ready to stop with that color and switch colors. Now make sure you don't pull this too tight. See how that pulled that black string in? We don't wanna do that because then everything will end up way too tight and it'll be hard to keep going. So I decided I'm ready to switch colors. So I took my needle off and then I'm going to leave a tail again and I'm going to trim that. If it's really little, you can throw it away, but if it's enough for somebody else to use, we'll hang on to it. So I decided I'm gonna to switch to pink now. I'm gonna show you without the needle. So I stopped under and I wanna start on the side that I stopped. So now I'm going to start over. So it's just like you're picking it back up, but you wanna make sure that your tails are on the same end because that'll help us later. So I'm going to pull that all the way through again, leave a tail about the same length. Make sure you keep scooting your weaving up so that it stays tight towards the top. But again, make sure you don't pull too tight on the end because then you'll have a lot of trouble later. 